Welcome back into the wrap up. I'm Alyssa Spangler. And I'm Preston Moore. It was a great night for high school football, and one of the best games was out in Bushland, Texas. The Falcons welcome the Wolves of West Plains to town tonight. First offensive play of the game right here, right after they run out the tunnel. Bushland for Tanner Adams. He might just be the fastest Falcon on the field for this first play this Friday night. A 65-yard touchdown bomb to put Bushland on the board first. The Wolves' woes would continue on the next possession as Reed Macon tries to throw the ball away, but it lands right in the lap of Austin Ryder, who takes it into the end zone for a pick six. West Plains had to respond. Macon looks left, goes right, where Kyron Wooten is there. And Woot, Woot, Wooten, he's taking it all the way to the house for a 70-yard touchdown of his own. This game would go back and forth until the final buzzer, where Bushland emerged victorious in a high-octane shootout. Final score, 47-41. And on to the next big matchup in town, Purple versus Purple, as Canyon welcomed the Clovis Wildcats. Coach Winfrey and company doubling up with senior night on opening night. Opening drive we go, the Eagles from 20 yards out, Sam Johnson breaks loose and into the end zone. Canyon goes on the board, first touchdown, number seven. Then we're going to go Junior Boston Bell getting his start at QB for the Eagles. He's going to draw back pass to Jacob Burris. Burris from the 17-yard line runs it the rest of the way, giving Canyon six more on the board. Canyon ahead 13-2 at the end of the first quarter. The Wildcats in the red zone now. Jetstone leaps into the end zone. Touchdown Clovis, but Canyon just too much for the Wildcats. The Eagles take this one big, 43-15 to open the season. And the Dumas Demons were at Lovett Cooper taking on the Pirates. We're going to go to Lovett Cooper with the ball right here. It's a toss to Jackson Austin. One on his jersey, two first names, and six points for the young man Pirates. Up early in this one, but then later in the game, Lovett Cooper would have the ball yet again. It's going to be a high snap for Ryan Rodriguez, but he throws a dart to Michael Deaver. The Demon defense doesn't down Deaver as he drives down the field to make it 14 0. Lovett Cooper. Dumas ball, the Demons trying to get something going here, but nothing to be found. Preston Jones, nice name with the sack and force fumble. All Pirates in Lubbock tonight. Dumas finishes week one, still without their first points of the season as Lubbock Cooper takes it 42-0 in a blowout. Now we're going to take it to Andrews at Randall at Happy State Bank Stadium. Randall down big here in the second half, punting away to Andrews, but the Raiders recover the fumble, potentially a huge play in this game as the Raiders look to get back into it on the ensuing possession. Trison Sanchez finds Colin Miller with a big gainer, sets up Randall inside the red zone. That's when Sanchez finds his big tight end, Brecken Milton, in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. Good sequence for the Raiders, but it wasn't enough as Randall falls in this one, 32-21. to we're going to go to Big Spring at Pampa for this one. Pampa coming in to this season with high expectations here. Great run down the field to open up the game. A.J. Yanez passes to Jacoby Lozano from about the 32-yard line. That's going to go to the 14-yard line. Big game for the Harvesters now. A couple of cheerleaders enjoying the game. A.J. Yanez passes now to Keyshawn Woodruff for the touchdown for Big Spring. Sorry, not the Harvesters. Big Spring. And then the Big Spring would get on the board with this touchdown play. Harvester crowd looking for a touchdown for them. Brant Hill is going to drop back to pass, but it's an interception. Jacoby Lozano again. You heard his name earlier. You're hearing it again. Running it all the way back for the touchdown. That goes to Big Spring, but they would fall in this game. Pampa wins 35-25. to and looking at some other 4A games around the area, Borger losing to Denver City 19-14 to in that one. Now moving on, just east of Amarillo, it was the Battle of the Hornets. Highland Park welcomes Tulia. We're going to go to that game now after they run out of the tunnel. Looking at some more purple we've got here. Coming out of the halftime, Highland Park up 27-14. Tulia finds its way to the red zone, and this is not the right game. Which game are we We're looking at Stratford and Spearman on this one. Spearman with the ball. They couldn't get anything going, but Stratford with a run and a touchdown. Elks looking like they're in mid-season form right now. Stratford, obviously, no new coach, but no problem for the Elks. Look at this run all the way down the field. A phenomenal gain by Stratford. This game would be another shutout as Stratford would win this game in a big one, 37 to nothing. And now we're going to take that game I go. was just, spoiler alert, just east of Amarillo. As I just said, it was the Battle of the Hornets. Highland Park 
welcoming Tolia coming out of the half. It's going to be Highland Park up 27-14. Tolia finds its way to the red zone. David Molina takes the snap and keeps it himself all the way, closing the score gap only down now 27-21. to Highland Park with the ball now and a beautiful pass from Brady Thompson completed to Isaiah Campola, putting Highland Park in great position, switching end zones to start the fourth quarter. Thompson now with the pass to Elias Torres. Torres separates himself from a defender for a touchdown for the Fighting Hornets. Highland Park outlasts Tolia 33-21. In Roosevelt, the Eagles hosting the River Road Wildcats. River Road going down to Roosevelt for this one. Eagles with the ball first in this one. Jalen Nelson with a quick fake drops back. He's looking down the field for a wide open Logan Patton, and he is in the end zone. Two point conversion would be good. 8 0 Eagles. Wildcats looking to move the ball. The handoff is going to go to Nathan Cazarez, but he's been eating the popcorn, and the ball pops out. Eagles recover. Next play. Eagles with the ball. The pitch is going to go out to Logan Patton. You heard him earlier. You hear him again. A pack of defenders in his face, but he puts the ball up, and it's taken McLean with the catch, and he's in the end zone. Eagles go for two again, 16-0. Roosevelt, and Roosevelt would go on to hold that lead in a big win, 42-6. Some more 3A games. Now we're going to look at some scoreboards now. Canadian looking right good. Another new coach, no problem. 55-0 against the Seminole Chieftains. And Abernathy goes down to Childress. Childress wins that one 14-7. And finally, in Demet, Memphis is going to lose 14-36. Now we're going to send things over to Riley and KJ. Thanks so much, Alyssa. Some great games yes. over there in 3A and 4A. This uh, this has been a good week of football to start us off. I know, I know. Lots of games. We had lots of highlights there. Mm -hmm. um, I know, especially the big one, Bushland West Plains. Yeah, I'm actually really jealous of that <laughs> Preston got to go out to that. I know that was probably an exciting atmosphere, an exciting game. High scoring, came down to the wire, so absolutely. And more great games to come here on the ramp-up. We'll be right back with more scores and highlights after the break.